Welcome to a new video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, hey boo, how you doing? I know it's been a little minute. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but your girl is on her way to the grocery store. It's Friday, it's time to restock the house. I'm really excited about that. Your girl is getting her hair done this weekend, so I have to also go to the beauty supply store and get some things done. So it is gonna be a good weekend. This is um it's actually a Friday, so this is gonna just be like a weekend vlog but i do have a lot going on this weekend so i'm really excited to take you guys along with me and yeah but anyways um like i said i just finished um doing my skincare routine and everything and we're about to head out because i love to get to kroger like around this time right now it's 138 and because i do not need the old people in after people after work in my way in Kroger. I need to get my groceries and get out. I created my list and I'm going to give you guys what I have on my list. One moment. Sorry I was running but so for the blue supply store I need bleach, a door uh, in a brown color, anti-humectant for my hair because my hair gets really puffy and non-crease clips. So bye. Okay. Anyways so that's what I need from the blue supply store and whatever the blue supply store else tells me I need because y'all know the girls heaven is a beauty supply store and then from the grocery store i need to get chicken wings salmon fruit snacks rice krispies that's not a need but hmm, we need some snacks um beverages we're gonna get crab mango crab strawberry a water a pack of water passion fruit juice and then red, veggies and some food and y'all see when we go in the grocery store what we end up picking up but yeah so that's our mission number one for the day and then we have to come back home wash our hair um, cause our apartment's tomorrow, wash our hair, blow dry our hair, um, I'm not gonna flat iron it yet, wash and blow dry, and then I have to color my bundles, some bundles, and wash the other bundles, cause I don't, I just bought new bundles and I have to wash it, I can't, I can't, so, anyways, that's on our list for today, um, so, let's get to it, where I'm about to call my lift to Kroger, and get going yeah i'm vlogging on my camera i'm on my phone right now but i just want to show y'all and i'm not even trying to brag or nothing like never bragging never bragging but one thing about it even when i'm getting a little pudgy and fat the body always gets let me show y'all because i just had to look at myself real quick in the mirror like look at the side view are you shitting me I mean, I'm just talking about something a little bit, but even with a little pudge, like, the body gives. No BBL, baby. No nothing. Like, it just gives everything it has to give. It just gives. Anyway, I'm about to head out to the grocery store now. Um, Brenda's convincing me to walk, and that is getting on my nerves because I, I, but I can't be mad at him because I've been preaching, like, I need to lose these pounds, and I need to start moving my body more walking and Kroger is about a mile away but it's just like bro nobody wants to walk but I'm gonna do it because at the end of the day the only way that I'm gonna lose these pounds that I've been in to lose is if I start moving my body so we finna start walking to the grocery store so I'll see y'all when we get there So yeah, I'm trying to get like a goldish brown out of the bundles because that's the color it usually is when we watch it. So I'm going to get like this um, browner, blonder color just to make sure that it tones the way that I need it to. So I'm going to grab this. Let me look it up. 
All right, we good. Okay, so we secured the goods in the beast plot store. I ended up finding the anti-humectant stuff. That shit took me so long. We was in there probably like an hour looking for that shit, but I found it. Thank God. Now we head in the Kroger so we can get our groceries. Hey y'all, so I am about to color my bundles. I didn't feel like setting my camera up to change it the other way to show y'all that. But I'm about to start coloring my bundles and washing them because I have to color one bundle and wash um, another set that I just got. So I'm about to do that now um, with the stuff I got from the beauty supply store. So. You won't see that process. This is not my first time doing it, but I'm definitely nervous because I I just don't know how it's going to go. And I just popped off a nail, so if it's ghetto, I'm sorry. But let's get into it.
it's about an hour later um i just i finished washing the bundles bleaching the bundles everything everything has been completed now it's time for me to wash my hair the most dreadful part because i still have to blow dry after so i am about to head in the shower and wash my hair i am just going to wash it though i'm not going to condition it because last time i posted on tiktok and my youtube shorts i was asking like what to do about my hair being like puffy and humid and it was saying they were saying that some conditioners don't a lot like don't really wash out of your hair properly and can sometimes cause your hair to not fully straighten and i don't have time for that i'm about to fully pay for an install i do not have time for it to not be looking how i need it to be looking i need my hair to behave so i am going to and also it's not like this the person i'm going to includes wash so if it was somebody that included wash and could fully wash my hair out and use like a high grade conditioner then i would have been cool with that but i'm not getting into that i so what i'm gonna do is i am going to wash my hair and then i'm going to use the frizz serum the anti-frizz serum that um i purchased today Oh, I don't even think I showed you guys. When I went into Kroger, I found these anti-frizz serums. I ended up buying one in the beauty supply store, but then I found two in Kroger that I picked up two. Let me show you. So, this is the one I found in the beauty supply store. I, this one, it is the Cream of Nature. But I only picked it up because I was just like, okay, well, this is the only anti-humidity thing I found in the Beast West store, which I was really disappointed because I felt like if anywhere I should have had it, it should have been the Beast West store. But it is what it is, whatever. But I just don't trust Cream of Nature. And I'm, I'm not even trying to be like bougie or nothing like that. I just feel like I've graduated past this brand. Like, I feel like this brand don't really, like... I don't know the, between this brand and like that olive oil brand i don't really trust it so i was just like you know what this is the only option so i bought it but then when i was in kroger i did go into the hair care aisle and i found two others and i got this garnier fructis uh anti-frizz serum and the only reason that i didn't fully trust this be is because it seems like more oil based which they all kind of seem oil based but this says sleek and shine so i'm thinking this is more of like a bio silk type of situation like where it's just kind of making your install look silky and may help with frizz maybe on the out skirts but i don't really feel like it's for fighting frizz or fighting humidity i feel like it's just like a holding like like, like a spritz you know what i'm saying like it you can tone down your whole thing but i still got it anyway because i was like you know what it's whatever it's only like eight dollars and then i got this and and this is specifically a serum that you put in your hair prior to um wash oh not to washing it prior to blow drying it so like you put it in your hair while damp and it's a serum so i'm assuming that this that will help like the blow drying stuff like make your hair non non um frizzy so i really felt like this was something that i wanted to pick up and it's called frizz ease serum by john frida um it says tames frizz protects from heat and humidity hydrates and adds shine so i'm really excited and i'm gonna also bring this with me to my appointment tomorrow just so that if my hairstylist does not have something for frizz i will bring it and the reason that i'm going so hard about the frizz i know y'all probably like Calm down. My hair, I don't think y'all understand. My hair does not cooperate. This is why I've never, other than February when I got my first quick weave, I've never wore leave out. My hair does not cooperate. The only reason that I'm going so hard for these is because the person that did my hair for the quick weave in, in February, she used the anti-humectant in my hair and it actually lasted. So I was like, you know what, I really have to find one. So that's why I'm going so hard about the humidity because my hair like i said it's wild it do not act right and i really do want to become a leave out girly 
because I can't with the wigs no more. Like, I'm just losing my patience with the wigs and the closures and all that extra stuff. I really like how the, the quick weaves look on me. I really like the maintenance of it. I really, that's, I feel like that's more my speed right now in this era of my life. So, anyways, I'm talking too much. Let me go in the shower and um, start washing my hair because it's already 8 24 i have food on the way and um, i'm already exhausted i want to go to bed and i have to wake up early in the morning because i have work before i go to my appointment i don't know why i signed up for extra shit before that but anyway Just in the roots, just to make sure that it was fully like dry in the roots, because I don't want her to be like, "Oh, your hair is wet." So I just did that. I just, um, yeah, just did that. I'm just gonna put it in a pony or something, something, because my hair with no product is very, very um, puffy. So let's see if I can get it into like a bun or something. I'm just going to pull it back here real quick and then I'm just going to get ready to go I'm do my skincare, my face, everything just to make sure that I'm ready because it's 8 o'clock, past 8 o'clock already and my appointment's at 9 and she's a good minute away so looking like Harriet. But yeah, let's get into the skin. I'm crazy, but I don't care. All that matters to me is Isaiah. Yeah. 
floor. I put some ice on you cause you got a cold heart. Huh? It's eight o'clock in the morning, and now I'm entering my bed. Had a few dreams about you. I can't tell you what we did. I expected to see you on your morning run again. No, I shouldn't be watching. Cause every time I feel the pain. You told me it was over. That we'd be together soon. Was this before or after? You told me to leave the room. I used to think we'd make it far. It turned out that we had such a shame. We weren't the same at all. So this is the full outfit I forgot to show you guys. Bro. It is Sunday. Oh, it's actually not morning anymore. It's two o'clock. But it is Sunday. Um, the girl just got off of work, and honestly, we are about to grow. I'm really excited about that. So, yeah, we're just going to put on the grill. As y'all can see, that first E stuff and all that extra I bought from the beauty supply store did not work. My hair is still very puffy and I'm very agitated because, like, I really was trying my best to avoid this very thing from happening and my hair is doing exactly what I knew it would do. So, I'm just a little frustrated when it comes to that, but trying to still enjoy my install as much as I can um probably just gonna curl that area maybe hopefully it will I don't know but I'm just gonna actually you know what I'm gonna leave it alone today because I don't want to put unnecessary heat and I'm not going anywhere but I'm just so agitated that I cannot just enjoy my install but anyway like I said I am about to clean up the house a little bit first and then I am going to start the grilling process the like go outside and grilling and stuff and you know just enjoying my Sunday the rest of the day off so <sighs> anyways let's get into the kitchen and oh wait no forgot to tell you guys about my um dinner last night so I went out last night with my friend Vana me and Vana have been like um we have been like friends on social media for about I would say probably ongoing almost a year now and we've always kind of like watched each other's content and then like kind of like clicked via like online but we finally met in person and we had such a great 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 time last night it was amazing honestly the vibes were there we have so much in common we're both from New York it's just it's a lot so I'm really glad I was able to network and you know and reach and put myself out there and do that and we went to Overstory and we also went to um, Sapphire here in Duluth and it was a vibe so honestly we're gonna meet up again soon I'm really happy that it ended up being a vibe but yeah like I said guys I'll probably talk to you guys a lot of, a little bit more about look, look. I'll probably talk to you guys a little bit more about it later but anyways 
I'm just kind of antsy right now because I feel like the house is a mess and I'm I can't because when I was getting ready last night yesterday I made a mess and I have to clean it up so we let's get to cleaning and then we can get to putting the stuff on the grill because I don't want it to get super super late it's already two something yeah so we gotta get to it guys because after the grilling we literally made a, a last minute decision to go to movies and we rushed to get to the showing the movie was really good though oh shoot hold on i'm burning his food hold on oh god i'm making breakfast let me try to get the camera together and i'm burning the food but yeah i'm making breakfast guys i'm making um what i'm making I'm making French toast, bacon for him, and eggs for us. Um, and it's a little ghetto because we only have brioche buns. So we're just going to use the brioche buns for... Sorry. Turn that over. My camera dies through. Oh lord, hopefully it gets us through. But yeah, so we only had brioche buns from like grilling yesterday, but we don't have no more hamburger meat or hamburger. So it's like, hold on. We only have 
hamburger bun, brioche bun. But it's still bread, right? So we're going to make that into French toast because it's like it will go to waste if we just sit there with it. So we're going to make French toast with those. And yeah. Um, it's sitting here acting like the food is burning. It's not even burning. The food is fine. Like, you're dragging it. That's what makes me think I'm burning the food. Ugh. Anyways. Too long. Yeah, over the now. It's too much. recipe online so this is the French toast mix that I made it is very good looking it's eggs milk vanilla extract cinnamon and that's it yeah so I'm gonna make the French toast in a second but I think I'm going to ask Brendan if I should make the eggs or the French toast first because I'm not really sure. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how that comes out. Hopefully it comes out good. But let me get off this camera because it's, um, it's dying and I want to show you guys the French toast. So I'll be right back. actually editing this vlog right now and I am gonna end the vlog here because it is so much footage I have about four hours of footage and it's so much going on in this vlog so I'm just gonna end it here I really hope that you guys enjoyed the entire vlog I hope you guys enjoyed everything and I can't wait to see you guys next week because we are back consistent back doing our thing and yeah and if you guys do want to see me on a more day-to-day -day basis i am active on my tiktok and my instagram and also youtube shorts so definitely tune into those and i will see you next week Bye. Bye.